so folks i've driven a few roadsters uh i think it's absolutely brilliant if you're after a, a very sporty car then you can't really go uh, wrong with the roadster not only do they look the part they absolutely fly if you decide to put your foot down see what i mean lovely and we've got reasonably dry day it's not raining so far which is always nice yet um, the roads are a little bit greasy because we have had a lot of rain so i'm going to take it a little bit easy so i'd like the next owner to uh, enjoy the car in its current state uh, this is brooklands um, they only made 50 of these so i'd hate for there to be only 49 left um, Real good fun, real good fun. Absolutely looks the part. Obviously, it's a celebration of the Brooklyn's race circuit, which was the world's first uh, purpose built, banked uh, race circuit. Absolutely on the button, these cars. That V6, 280 brake horsepower uh, on a car that weighs under a ton. I think I've said this before on uh, a couple of my videos, the power to weight ratio means it's 290 brake per ton, which is brilliant. Uh, the V6, uh, I feel, and this is only my personal opinion, puts that power down better than something like the V8. Sounds amazing. So it really does pull if you need it to. It's perfect for roads like this. So if you are doing a uh, touring, it's perfect. There's, there's loads of power. It's actually reasonably economical. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the video. I don't think you can. Uh, you've got uh, the silver bonnet on these. There was an option actually with a, a polished aluminium uh, bonnet, which this doesn't, I don't think many of them did have that, so they're even rarer. Um, it looked brilliant. Got some lovely little livery bits and pieces. I love the uh, design of the uh, Brooklyn's track being incorporated. Uh, onto the decals on the back. It looks really smart. Uh, little Brooklyn steering wheel. It's like rain ahead. Um, actually, it's really nice. I like smaller steering wheels on cars rather than big ones. I'm uh, not a great fan of wooden steering wheels. Again, personal preference. Um, so this actually feels really nice in the hand. Oh, nice. Little convertible XR3i, nice. Or maybe an XR3. We'll find someone to turn around in a minute because uh, I don't want to get wet. I don't want the car to get wet either. So I'm not going to stop and put the roof on. A six speed box again, so for touring. Uh, you've got plenty of gears to choose from. If you are doing uh, motorway miles, then uh, see it's going to make a, a big difference. You probably want to come off and find uh, a nice country road though. Got oh, lots of campers on the way back out. Yeah, we just have finished the Easter holidays down here in Devon. So there are lots of holiday makers around. Oh, 
again, the smaller steering wheel makes it stuff like that just that little bit easier. All right, looks like we're going to get caught in all this traffic. Now this particular car, when uh, they originally come from the factory, it had a body coloured uh, dashboard. The uh, last owner, which only had one owner, did not like it, so they changed it to the Walnut one. Uh, but the uh, dash is available if the next owner wants it. Lovely. I, I do like the power steering in these, uh, it just makes things a little bit easier. I know there's been a, a power steering delete on some of the roadsters. It's not always the best option, it's, uh, obviously it would give a more racing feel on the higher speeds, but it's, again, it's really hard to do those higher speeds. Uh, this particular car has got a, a tonneau cover with it. It also has a hood envelope with it. It's got rain cover with it. Uh, you've got the Brooklyn's headrests on these as well, which look nice. So they're embroidered with uh, the word Brooklyn's on there and that little uh, motif that they've designed. Looks really, really smart. I do like driving these cars. And if you're after a British made sports car, that actually does what it says on the tin. Get one of these. Yes, you have to be respectful because again, like the car in front, unlike the car in front, should I say, it doesn't have any driver aids, so it is purely down to the skill of the driver. Um, I'm not going to say I'm a very skilled driver at all, so I'm not going to absolutely push it. It's cars on the road, You've got to be respectful of everyone, so I'm definitely not going to push it. But I might leave a little bit of a gap. Just so I can do some zoomies. But you don't know what's around that next corner. There we go, see? So again, still lots of wetness around. Been a damn shame. Okay, let's get back. I've had my fun. Let's get stuck behind a learner driver bus. So for those of you that are interested, uh, if you do want to check out um, any of the cars that are on 
our website or on uh, YouTube. Please feel free to uh, email me, give me a ring. Best of all, pop in and see me because you really won't get a feel for these cars unless you drive them. Some cars are easier than others. These are easy.